Hey, this is Patricia, and I'm really excited to share my first layout and video for Alt New using their stamps and dies. For the base of my 8.5 by 11 layout, I'm using their Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. And for the stamps, I'll be using the Simple Shapes and the Orikami stamps. And I printed a photo in black and white and color because I'm not sure which I'll use. But I did start a design using the Simple Shapes stamps and, and the cat Orikami there. And I wanted to just kind of get a feel for what I wanted. Now I want to use a lot of color with the stamps, so I'm using the Jet Black, the Forest Glades, Cotton Candy, Blush, Caramel Toffee, Morning Frost. I have the Sapphire and the Ocean Waves, but I will probably will not use the Sapphire because my two darker colors are the orange color and the green color. The rest of the colors will be soft. Now I want to use this mat here that I can line up my 8.5 by 11 background since I'll be doing a lot of stamping on it, I don't want it to get too crooked. So I'm going to line that up to get it even and start stamping. Now my inspiration came from a, an ad actually that I saw on Pinterest. And I started to copy that here, but then I eventually just started to do my own design. If you Google simple shape, designs you can find so many different ideas and this stamp set really has so many possibilities so it's a great jump jumping start for me to have that inspiration like here I made the little banner tails using the triangle stamp and you know what I probably would not have thought of that if I had not seen the inspiration to just give me some kind of jump start now as I clean off my stamps, I just make sure to dry them off, especially when I re-ink with the same stamp like I did right there. And the solid image stamps are great, but the stamp set also comes with some great outlines. And that's a whole nother idea that you could do with a background for a layout. But I wanna, wanna include those every now and then in the design. I just think it adds a nice look. I already have a nice modern graphic look, graphic look going on so far, so I think it just adds to the whole look. Now this is the next thing, is I really need to see where I want the photo to go, and I was also still trying to decide if I want black and white or color. And before I go any further, I know that I want to include some of those origami animals. So I have the cat here. I stamped a couple of times to get the image that I wanted. This is a scrap piece of watercolor paper with some blue ink on it. And I'm going to die cut this little cat. And I think that I'll probably place him near the top or above the photo. And I think that stamp set goes so well with these simple shapes. I really like the hard lines and the graphic look to this. So now I need to continue adding some more shapes. And this is where I'm gonna start really making the design my own. I'm gonna start now to frame my photo. And I really like the angles and the direction that they can give pointing towards your photos and making the photo stand out. So as I play around with the shapes, that's what my focus is gonna be, It's just really framing and making the photo stand out. I think the hardest part about a layout like this is just getting started, knowing what colors to pick and what shapes you wanna do. If you wanna do a repetitive pattern and create an interesting design that way, or in this case, a more freestyle type pattern. Now the colors do make a difference, I think. I picked a lot of colors that are a little soft, but I do have enough pop with the orange, the pink, and the green, and even the black. It just adds a nice contrast. So I'm just going to continue to add some of those shapes, but as I get towards the bottom, I know that I want to add a title, and I'm trying to look at the photo and trying to think about what it is that I want this to say. So I'm going to lay out part of my title that's going to be magical. So I'm going to lay out the MAG and go ahead and adhere that to the stamping block and just get those lined up as well as I can. 
And I was about to go ahead and stamp in black ink the title under the photo, and I realized I want more color on this, and I want to continue these shapes and the different ink colors. So I was curious to see how the title would look layered on top of those stamped shapes. So I pulled out that first scratch piece of paper that I had experimented with the design on and stamped and I really liked it. So now I'm back to doing some more framing of these shapes around the photo using the same colors that I used at the top. I left a little bit of space to the left of the photo there because I'm not exactly sure where I want some journaling to go. So some journaling or some sentiment stamps might go there, I'm not sure yet. But I left that space open until I finished framing and adding all the shapes around the photo. And then once I have that section completed, I have a little bit more stamping above the photo. And then now I can go ahead and stamp my title. I'm using the Modern Deco Alpha Stamp Set here, which goes perfectly with this graphic design with all these sharp angles. And now that I have most of my stamping and my title done, I want to add some more of these Orakami stamp animals. So I'm using the butterfly here with the same watercolor paper with the blue ink. And again, they just work perfectly because of the, the corners of them. They can kind of just fit right into some of those spaces. Now I want to decide, I think I'm going to add another animal. I like to work in odd numbers, so I want to add a third animal. I'm trying to decide which bird, and I went with the hummingbird because I really liked the angle of the wing, and I like how it just points to the butterfly, and then the butterfly points back to the cat, and the cat points back to the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and add that little guy right here, and now I want to go ahead and add some journaling. I just used the stamping block because it has a straight line. My intention was to type directly onto the layout, but the cardstock is actually so good and so thick, I couldn't get it through the typewriter. So this is what I, I do, like if I've had things adhere to the layout and I can't send it through the typewriter, is I just use an extra sheet of either cardstock or vellum. And in this case, I used the vellum. So I typed directly on there. I penciled in those same lines, so I would have it be the same width that I wanted it erase those pencil lines, and then you could see earlier that I just stitched that into place. Now I need to go ahead and commit to everything else. So I'm going to adhere all the little animals that I die cut out, and then decide if I need to add anything else in that, that little space to the left of the photo. And I did decide to add just a little bit of another shape here, and then the rest of the space will be taken up by this little wood paper clip that I'll adhere to the or I'll, I'll attach to the photo. And that goes perfectly with this with the sharp angles. So I'll pop dot the whole photo to adhere to the layout. And I don't want anything to overlap, so I just scoot it over and get it to just fit right in between all those shapes. And get that nice and straight. And now I want to add these acrylic plus signs with some liquid adhesive. And you can see that I went with the color photo. I really liked the glow from the photo and it went really well with the orange stamping throughout the layout. So I went with that photo. And the last little thing I wanna add is some black enamel dots near the journaling to help bring attention to the journaling. My layout has this, an asymmetric type feel to it. It's, it's very abstract and it's, it's not a repetitive pattern. So I kind of did the same thing with the dots. I, I put some near the top of the journaling and some near the bottom of the journaling. And that will finish this layout. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you were inspired to use these stamps to create your next project.